that's the 89 classic mini build. The floor is in place, I think. Right, it took a while to get this into place. Um, yeah, not gonna lie, it didn't go in as quickly and as nicely as I thought it would. Um, bits and pieces, mainly a lot of the problem I had was the new flitch panels are pattern and the bottoms of them where they taper off around the edges, sort of around there. Um, I don't think the profile was quite there because the floor was trying to hit it. Um, the height and everything was all right. I mean, obviously I fitted the flitch panels while the old floor was in place. So um, don't quite get what's going on with them. I don't, I, I'm putting it down to it just being a pattern panel or maybe I was slightly out of it. I don't, I don't know. Um, I think we're getting somewhere now. I didn't film me lifting and shifting this in because there was a lot of swear words said and it wasn't pretty. Um, but it basically, if you put your, I put those datum points in, it did sort of slot into place more or less. Um, yeah, it's going to take a bit of fiddling, I think. A bit more fiddling than I thought to get it in, in the exact same place. I've got it to the point where it lines up my datum points. Um, I'm going to try the rear subframe on now. Um, I, I need to know that that's right because it, it's, it's stressing me out. <laughs> um, so I want to do that. I've got loads, obviously you can see here there's a gap. All that's going to get screwed in, pulled tight. Everything's going to get taut for a touch of the welder. I'm not even going to think about the welder today. It's not even going to cross my mind. Um, yeah, I'm just, it looks so good with a floor in it. It looks awesome. And knowing all these, the seals all in here are all solid and clean and tidy and painted. Oh, it's cool. It's a really, 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 really good thing. So I'll sort out all the flitches after once we've got the floor in place properly where it's going to live. Going to go to the back of the car now. I'm going to try the subframe on. I've just got to fit new rubbers and then the Tronions, um, and then we'll try and mount it in. If that goes in straight, I'm going to be a one, one, happy, happy man. Um, it's like I've given a, it, they, everyone says the car has a heart and it's the engine, but it's like giving this car a heart again. It's going you know, to have the whole bottom end, it's going to be brand new. I can't wait. I really, really can't wait. So I'll fiddle around with the back ends, trying to get the, um, the subframe in. Um, I'll film that, but first of all, I've got to go and fit the, the rubbers to Tronions, like I said. So um, yeah. Just wanted to say a, a, another thank you. I keep saying a thank you in all these videos, but I'm getting some really nice comments. Um, I'm doing it this way because I feel it's the right way to do. So, but the people were agreeing with me and stuff like that and giving me some good feedback, spot on. I'm really, really shocked with that. So I thank everyone that's done that. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's crack on. We're on double figures now, episode 10. So yeah, like I said, it's giving me the boost. So I want to crack on now and I cannot wait to get this welded into the car. Want this welded into the car, and then we've got loads of work to do the, to the Clubman 4 IMM, plus get a mileage on that thing. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's crack on. Right, so we're all set up here now with a, a new soft frame. Um, the Trunnions, I'm not bothering to restore yet, as I just don't see the point. Um, they're all go for powder coating or whatever method I use to um, rust proof and paint all this when the time comes to rebuild the car. Purely just fitting some bushes temporarily to it, try and get it in the car. Um, got all the new nuts and bolts that we need um, and we have these new main trunnion bins I had to cut both the ones out the old software and they were that bad so all that's come from new and we got some new poly bushes um, everything even though it's like I say it's temporarily it's all going in with copper grease because half the problem before was they didn't use this simple tools to do it you got a ratchet 13 mil spanner 13 socket and, and a 16 um, obviously you can use the, the half inch on there as well. Um, literally got everything new, everything's all stainless, it's all new. Um, so let's get this fitted up with its trunnions. Um, we'll go from there, we'll try and get it in. Let's try and achieve that today. So very simple, what we do is we build up all these trunnions first with the new bushes and we'll go from there. So you've got these two, which is up front, and these two that go down the back. So very easy. I main big bush slides through. These are poly, so they're a bit, they're a bit stiff. So that's that one through on that. And you got the same again, like that. And the smaller ones, you got two smaller bushes. Literally slot in, slot in, and they join in the middle there. So and you got there. And the same again there. So that's them built up. It's a case of getting them on the car now. Uh, we've got the big washers. So there. 
and the pins. So let's get them built up. I won't film me screwing up a load of nuts and bolts. Quite self-explanatory. These go on the back. These go on the front. Right, we've spent the last few hours in between doing other jobs trying to make these two floors fit together. The main floor is as far forward as I can possibly get it. Um, I can't see it getting any further. It's right butt up against the flitch panels. It's hit my height marker on my um, bracing. I've got a little dating point there. It's hit that perfectly fine. But we're a bit off on the rear subframe. Kind of thought this would happen. <laughs> Um, completely knackered now, a lot of lifting and shifting on your own, it's, it's not the easiest thing to have done. Um, I'll show you down at the back how far we're off, uh, it looks awful, I think I know what it is. Um, it might be a case of the boot floor coming back out, it is only screwed and a few tacks in, um, hence why I never did it properly. I just wanted something there while I took the rest of the floor out. Um, I think that might be the point of call. I don't see what difference it's going to make because how the floor's in is picking up on original markers on the car. So yeah, I don't really know how far we can go with it and how much we're going to achieve, but we need to do something because the subframe isn't going in the way it is now. Um, yeah, one thing I will say about the pattern subframe is it's fine, I've used them before, but the crappy coating they put on it, um, on the threads and stuff, putting all the, the, the the trunnions together and stuff like that. Um, like I said, I didn't film that, so I didn't see the point in screwing loads of nuts and bolts together. Um, the coating on it is ridiculous. You know, like you got really, really clean the threads up before you can do anything. So I'm not slating it in that way, but just be warned. You know, don't don't be stripping the threads and stuff. Just try and clean up the threads before you try and put a nut on it. Um, it's one thing I will say. Um, it looks nice with the subframe in place, so I'll show you. But it isn't going to bolt in the way it is. It it it'll probably go in on the heel board because that's obviously a square floor from Heritage now, um, a bit of adjustment on the trunnions, but it's definitely not going in at the back. It's close-ish. No, it's not. It's not It's not going to go in. Um, yeah. I don't really know. I think, to be honest, what's caused the problem is this jig. Um, I think the jig's pulling and pushing the car in a way that it shouldn't be pulled and pushed. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, I'll show you the how far off we are. Obviously, we've got to try and sort it, so I'll take you with me on the journey to try and sort that. Um, yeah, that'd be it for today. I wanted to get this in place and bolted in place, maybe no welding done, and then I wanted to crack on with so many other jobs today. But, yeah, it's a mini. It, it's never straightforward. So I'll show you with these, and I'll leave you with that. Um, if you've got any comments or suggestions, please put in the comments below. Um, it definitely, basically, everything needs to go forward. Um, and the main floor won't, it is literally in its place, I cannot physically push it any further. Um, yeah, so please put in the comments if not, if you do know, sorry. Um, yeah, I'll leave you with that. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, please uh, like this uh, video and subscribe. Um, there's loads of more stuff to come. This is the first of the hurdles and let's learn through, you know, and get over the hurdles. That's the whole point of documenting this is mistakes along the way as well if it is a mistake on my part or if it is the jig pulling it um we will see so i'll show you these things like i've said and i'll leave you with that thank you for watching guys um catch on catch me up on episode 11 when hopefully we've got a, a solution to this so thanks for watching catch you soon drive safe and be happy everyone bye so yeah like i said i'd leave you with this we are that far off this needs to go that way so yeah not impressed the car is braced in its original position i don't know how this has happened so like i said you guys are with me on this journey i will rectify it i have to rectify it so yeah um it will go perfectly fine here i mean obviously it's not sat at its height um it needs to come up to there that's how it bolt in you can see that that's gonna go fine same on the other side it all is completely in line down there. Um, the only thing I've seen is I feel like the profile of that bump there in the boot floor, it, it, I think this part of the floor needs to drop in and it won't. 
If it would drop in, I think the subframe will go in. Um, so if it's a case of this needing to go, this needing to go forward anymore, then yeah, that might be the case. But I genuinely don't know how to get that further forward. It is hitting the front of the car where it should be. It lines up on the steps really, really nice. So, yeah. It looks good for the most part. <laughs> right, like I said, I'll leave you guys with that. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.